Hello everyone and welcome to Usability. Today we are going to see how to play eFootball 2024 on PC using the brand new BlueStacks 5 that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install eFootball 2024 and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to BlueStacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play eFootball 2024. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else my friends, the first thing to do is to open our favorite internet browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to the current URL that I have highlighted in green. There you are seeing it on the screen of the PC. You don't need to type the URL, because I provided a clickable link in the description of this video and the first main comment. We ended up here on the website of Usability, where we find here a detailed demonstration on the way to download and install eFootball 2024 on computer. We search lower a tad and then click on the download game on PC button. Once we click on this link, we get to the website of BlueStacks. No panic, it is simply the Android emulator that we will use to get access to this game eFootball 2024 on the PC. It is now obvious that we access a great deal of pros of preferring using this emulator. So we will start downloading the eFootball 2024 by clicking on the button play on BlueStacks that I have marked in green color. Next step is clicking on the button. Of course, the download step starts and ends immediately. Voila, this is the download. It is an executable file. The following step is to launch the executable file, so we click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to allow changes to the laptop or device. We have said yes. I minimize the internet browser to start to see the installer considerably better. The installation software is very easy to use. It consists of a couple of possibilities, install, and setup path. I will explain what setup path does indeed. We purely click it. And then we note that we display here the path where the emulator will be set up. If we have to change for better this directory we have to click on this browse option, and now we select another directory and install the emulator where we desire. I will leave it as it is. Then, I click on back. And therefore I pick install. Great. The install commences and it is going to commence in the download of these MB that are shown on this computer screen. Once you save it on your hard disk, it could be more or less megabytes. The download rate will go faster or at a lower speed, subject to your internet and depending on the efficiency of the emulator web servers. Right now they are going extremely fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With BlueStacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, BlueStacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At present, the emulator happens to be started automatically. As you can discover, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar which will advance to the right and once it gets into the ending, the emulator is launched for the very first time. The reality is the emulator is already launched there for the very first time. Before we continue, as you understand, it has created two app icons here on the computer desktop. The BlueStacks and BlueStacks Multi Instance. Note that the BlueStacks app icon will be the only one we are concerned about. Anytime we choose to start eFootball 2024 on the PC, we twice mouse click on this particular app icon and therefore use the emulator. The BlueStacks Multi Instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with BlueStacks 5's new improved Multi Instance Manager in Eco Mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Shall we conduct the next phase, which is actually a must, and this is to access the Google Play Store. To do this we will go there to, System Apps, we click. And we are going to mouse click on Play Store. As you will notice the Google Play is presented. In this case we are required to log on. At present the moment we are on this page, we must begin doing this following step which is obligatory. Therefore we click on, Sign In. Presently it shows, Checking Info. It might sometimes get stopped at, Checking Info, that's why it fails to move forward. In that case, you should try to connect to your account after a few hours but it will surely very likely be resolved. At this time we're going to type our email address and password. The email is required to be a Gmail email as well as its corresponding password. For instance you could use the very same email you are using at this time in your YouTube account. So I will type my data and I'll revisit as soon as I have accomplished it. Voila, info typed. Here is Google welcoming us and presenting us the twos. We can approve them simply by hitting, I agree. Following that, it makes us possible to back up to the Google Cloud. You can keep it selected and it will build a backup of your data on this device to Google Drive. I won't select it, you can utilize that option if you want. We just click on accept. The Google Play Store is started by default and completely on its own. To set up the application, we have got to go to the Android emulator desktop by left clicking that icon marked in green. At this point that we are discovering the desktop of that emulator for Android, we can see that we have there the install app game option. We click on that button. On this page we have got the Android game. So let's just click now on the install button that I am just showing now in green color. This action will commence the software setup. At this moment it is going to download on your PC and set up the game app, it normally takes some time or it might possibly be very fast. It all is going to depend on the internet connection. It's as of now finished installing. 
It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by clicking on this specific button that I am highlighting in green, so that you can run eFootball 2024 for the very first time. We are now on the emulator desktop, and we are going to simply click that fresh eFootball 2024 software icon that's been provided. That Android game is launched for the first time. Here we end up with it, I can also click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to talk about the sound level of that emulator. This is right here. We have the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume, this way we are not going to count on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound of the emulator. And also to take pleasure in the experience to the greatest, we can activate the large monitor, for which we have two choices. This one is actually the very first one, we mouse click on this app icon which I am identifying in green color. Thus the monitor is maximized, enjoying one border at the top, one at the right and the last one at the bottom. Supposing that we aspire to run the application in full screen, we hit that software icon. And therefore we would probably without a doubt be experiencing and enjoying the gameplay in 100% screen mode. To escape the complete screen functionality, hit the F11 key. And we'd just play in standard display screen mode. At this point, I am choosing to explain you the computer keys mapping which is certainly surprisingly helpful. That way we may be in a position to make use of the video game much more easily. The first thing is to mouse click this application icon. It's now time to make the recommended configurations. Let me put the standard configuration, but if you prefer to change it, you can easily do so without any problem. Clearly, the emulator is entirely in our own language. Sometimes it occurs that the emulator is started in the improper language, for instance, in Chinese language. And as a consequence to place it in the appropriate language we click here to the cogwheel. So right here throughout many other settings, we click the language drop down. We are able to determine the language we want, Italian, Japanese, and so on. When the language is selected, we should say, the emulator would restart, and also the Android game, the next time we use it, will also be in the preferred language. At this time, you will find another detail that we have to take into account, and it's that we will get an email indicating that a brand new machine has been connected to our Google account. It is going to question us if we are the people who have associated with that device. Yup, we shouldn't be troubled, considering that the emulator is behaving like an Android device. So you can find which tablet or smartphone is being emulated, we come back right here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. Be sure to browse here to the, model, selection. And now we see that the emulator is simulating a Samsung cell phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys, so much for the video user demo. I hope you enjoyed it, specifically that everyone found it helpful. If that's the case, give it a good thumb up, subscribe, and I will be happy to answer your remarks, issues or suggestions, put them in the comment box down below. You can even leave a remark on my Twitch channel, I perform live streams ever so often, you have it below in the video description and in the initial pinned comment. Just click any of those videos that are showing up on the screen and see you in the future video game videos. Bye.